Hey guys, Dropship Tyler here, and tonight I wanted to talk about something that I was thinking of on my drive home from my family's Christmas dinner. And as you can see, I brought Charlotte. She's completely wiped out. Uh, she got home and she wanted to go immediately lay on the bed, so I decided I would hang out with her and do the video up here. But yeah, so the thing I was thinking of was the the people that message me on a daily basis and how I could kind of categorize them to help them understand what they can do in their current situation to make eBay dropshipping work eventually for them. And the biggest, I guess there's three main categories. Uh, maybe I'll only talk about two, depending on how much time I have, because my girlfriend's actually on her way home too. But yeah, I'll, I'll talk about the first one. And that is the person that messages me that's in debt or needs money quickly from eBay dropshipping. And unfortunately, my advice to them typically isn't what they want to hear. Um, I tell them, you know, they need to figure out their current situation. They need to figure out a way to get their credit score up, get out of debt. They need to be able to, to get the tools they need to actually make dropship, eBay dropshipping work. And those tools, if you're doing Amazon to eBay dropshipping, you need the 5% cashback card. It's going to be very tough to compete with other dropshippers who have that card if you don't have that. Um, again, and you know you need money eventually to get the tax certificates and become tax exempt uh, and all that, unless you know you're going to do it yourself. But even then, there's state fees and things like that for some of the states. So it's very difficult for me to talk to some of those people and how desperate they sound, but I just know that those people are going to be the ones that are most likely to fail because they're not going to stay patient and they're not going to stay persistent. I'm not saying if you can't get the 5% card or you can't get tax exempt, you're not going to be successful, but it's going to take a lot more hard work. You're going to have, you're going to have to have a lot of good habits. And typically the people that come to me that, um, are in debt or, you know, desperate for money, uh, have bad credit scores. Those people have been ha having a lot of bad spending habits uh, for months or even years, and it's hard for somebody to break those habits for sure. And I just think typically those are, are going to be the people that they definitely don't stay patient. They realize quickly that they're not going to be able to get rich fast from this. It's not going to help their current situation, so they just give up on it and they go on to the next thing. Um, and that's probably going to be the cycle they take forever. And they're always going to be living, you know, in this in this scarcity uh, mindset where they they can't really do the things they want to do. Uh, they can't spend money on the things they want to spend money on because they don't have any. And they're just going to always keep going through this vicious cycle of trying to get money quickly. And even when they get money quickly, it's likely that they're going to blow it, whatever. Um, they're not building anything real for the future. And that's something that I can't reiterate enough to you guys who want to do eBay dropshipping. This is a business that you build every day up front to see the long-term results in the future. Uh, it took me six months to start from the time I started to go full-time. And that was with me working my ass off every single day. I mean, you guys that watch my channel, you know my story. I literally started when I was working at a, at a desk job. And I was working, you know, till 5.30 in the afternoon, coming home and then working until 2 or 3 in the morning, going and doing it again. My manager obviously was starting to question <laughs> my uh, my ability to to work, not because of my results, but because I was like looking like I was falling asleep at my desk basically I was wearing myself out so much so it's definitely something that you have to stick with and you have to you know be patient um, because eBay dropshipping is a great business it's a great way to make side income and if you work hard enough for long enough it's a great way to make a full-time income but most of those people that I just talked about are never gonna see that they're probably never even going to get to the point of making a profit because they're going to give up so quickly. So it's definitely hard if you're one of those people and you're starting at a disadvantage. 
You really need to look at yourself in the mirror and fix the other things you have going on in life, uh, like your credit score, like your debt, and decide whether or not you know it's more important to find a steady job right now, like whether you're a bartender, waiter, whatever, and do this on the side, or you know just not even try to do this and just move on to the next thing, which I I, I don't recommend, but. Um, there's a lot of people that are going to be stuck in that vicious cycle of just quitting and moving on and giving up, quitting and moving on and giving up. Like that's, it's, yeah, I talk to those people every day. So, and to be honest, I was never in any debt or I didn't, I never really had a bad credit score or anything like that that stopped me from get, getting any of the credit cards I wanted. But I was the type of person that would look at something for, you know, a few days, get really into it and either never take action or if I did take action, it was very little action and I just moved on. It was weird. Something about eBay dropshipping just stuck with me. Um, I guess because it's so it, it's so easy to see results once you start listing items and getting, getting sales. And if you just have this mindset of scale, 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 uh, you'll naturally just continue to build your store and, and do better and better every month. Um, so yeah, it was really easy for me once I saw that once I took action and once I saw that first result I just kept going and going and going and Some people might you know only make a hundred dollars their first month and Think oh man, that was a lot of work for a hundred dollars, but what they don't realize is in the long run That that work you put in for the first five six months I mean you're gonna run off that for a long time obviously you have to keep building and, and scaling your store and hiring VAs and all that but that first five to six months is going to be the hardest for you. And I, I bet you 99% of the people that start dropshipping don't make it past four or five months, probably even sooner than that. So yeah. And then, so I want to talk about the, I guess I'll talk about another type of person that um, messages me and that's the person that is probably going to succeed the most. Uh, it's somebody who has a good credit score, uh, who has you know income already. They're very comfortable in their life, but they want something else. You know, that's going to give them uh, some additional income or just have a side hustle because they have that entrepreneurial spirit. And that's the type of person I was when I started. I didn't like my desk job, but I also you know was really always money hungry and I wanted to create some sort of business that was generating money, something I could run myself, um, express that entrepreneurial spirit that I was just talking about. And uh, it was easy for me to stay patient. It was very, very easy because I was still getting a paycheck. I was still living comfortably. I could see the results of eBay coming in every month and growing and growing. So the, the person that actually has an income from something else and you know they they've had good spending habits, good saving habits, paying off their credit cards, things like that their entire life. It's gonna be a very easy business for that type of person um, because again they're not gonna they're not gonna give up and quit because you know they didn't make enough money. They're gonna see that okay this is scalable, right? Like I made one sale now I can make two sales and three sales whatever every month it scales up. And that's the type of person that I like to talk to because when I talk to a person like that, I'm instantly like, all right, I know as soon as this person starts making a few sales, it's all going to click for them and they're just going to scale their business and they're going to be successful. I've met a lot of people like that uh, doing this as well. And it's definitely exciting to add that type of person uh, to your network eventually. I... I don't know if I've actually met anybody that started off in debt with bad credit score who is really, really successful at eBay dropshipping right now. Um, I know there's a YouTube channel where the person says they started off with, you know, nothing and they were poor and they've been dropshipping for five, six years. Um, but, you know, now they've made a lot of money and they have software and everything like that. I've never heard or witnessed an actual story of somebody I talked to that started off, you know, kind of not even at ground zero, like below ground zero and worked their way out of it. It's just those type of people. Um, and if you're one of these people, just look at yourself in the mirror and just say, you know, am I one of these type of people? Am, am I, do I have bad spending habits? Do I not pay off my credit cards? Uh, what can I do to change everything? Cause you need to fix the underlying issues at first 
and then think about you know really really scaling and building a business um, because even if you build a successful business and you still have all these bad habits are you gonna be in it for the long term like what happens if you have a little recession and you know you you aren't making money for a couple months all right now your bills aren't being paid and everything just happens all over again um, I know this sounds dramatic but I mean it's real life for sure and if you're that second person I, I just spoke about, um, just it's still not easy. You still have to have obviously a hard work ethic, and you have to, you know, constantly be working on uh, your business and just staying in in tune with everything. But yeah, just I wanted to do this quick video. Thanks for watching, guys. And I, uh, yeah, actually my girlfriend just walked in the door, so it's perfect timing. I uh, hope everyone had a good Christmas, and yeah, subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed, and I hope you like this video. Thanks, guys.